before I tell you how to tell a safety story, I'm going to ask you why should we tell safety stories? I'm not going to answer that. I'll tell you quickly one of my own safety stories. I was on the way to an extrata mine and I was in a hurry because I was late. It was on the road between Belfast and a place called Stoffberg. And I saw the sign, there was a warning sign. Yeah, that's it. It clearly said pot holes. Actually it said pee holes. And it said 70. And we all know when we see a warning sign that says 70, we can drive, possibly 90. I must have been doing close to 120. I hit the pothole. The front tire was blown out, the rear tire was damaged. I battled to keep the car under control. Eventually I got onto the gravel. I was angry. I got out, I slammed the door. I kicked the tire. I shouted, Stoffberg municipality, why can't you fix the potholes? But who is really responsible? Is it the Stoffberg municipality? No. It's me. I should have taken responsibility. I should have made sure that I stick to the speed limit and that I am careful because of potholes. And this is what we often do. Whenever something goes wrong, the first thing that we look for is to blame something or somebody. Now that's my story. Now I'll ask you why to tell stories. Well, the main reason is when you tell a safety story, it becomes much more memorable. Make your stories personal. Use names and places. You want to paint a picture in people's minds and put some emotions into it. Like I said, I was angry. I was really frustrated. And make it fun and memorable through fun. Behave naturally, like, you know, as if you're sitting and you're having a cup of coffee with your friends and you tell it naturally. And then finally, at the end of your story, put in the safety lesson, put in what you learned. And that's it. Now this way, and people will listen to the safety message.